All right, we're looking at this windblown oak here came down. Look at this amount of decay in this base of this tree, though. Look at this. So what do we have? We got just a couple inches of good wood here. That's all punky there. For only two inches of good wood and whatever that is, that's probably 36, 40 inch diameter trunk. Another thing to notice is there, are bur there is a burl over here. And a lot of times these burls are associated with bad areas inside the tree. So one of the lessons I'm learning from this, yeah, you can look at the tree and say, okay, what are the outer signs that this tree is hollow? And it doesn't have a huge amount of them, does it? Other than this kind of funny looking bark over here, that burl there. And it doesn't really look, oh, you know what it is? The flare of this base is kind of wide. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of puffy down there. So there's a flare of this base that is no good. But one of the other lessons is, hey, if you see a, and this kind of variety is, looks like a red oak, you see a red oak with, you know, 15, 20, 30% decay, it's usually not an issue, man. This tree had like 90% decay or over 90% decay and was still standing and looked big. Doesn't look like they did a lot of pruning on this tree. So lots of lessons to be learned. Hope you guys are enjoying these forensic tree assessments. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.